Hi, let us have a quick understanding on distributed tracing and the tool that gets deployed along with the add-on that is Eager. Eager is a distributed end-to-end -end tracing tool for complex distributed applications and as a part of the Istio deployments along with the add-on, Eager will also get deployed when I am using the profile demo. Let me go ahead and check the list of add-ons that got deployed along with the Istio. If you remember, while doing the installation, we use the profile demo. So when I'm using the profile demo, it's going to add these add-ons that is Grafana, Istio Tracing, Kiali and Prometheus. I'm going to use this Istio Tracing to do the distributed tracing. That's nothing but it's an eager and again, that's an open source tool that's going to facilitate us to do the distributed tracing. The reason why this is another important tool to do the analysis whenever i am doing the demo for the features available within the istio how the applications behaved and how the request control happened across the applications we can visually see through this particular application let's see through a demo that's going to provide us a lot more clarity and uh, this particular eager tracing follows the open tracing standard so that it can help us to do the performance and latency optimization, root cause analysis, service dependency analysis, as well as distributed transaction monitoring. If I look into the services that got deployed, I'm going to have a service called tracing that's going to have this specific IP address and it is responding in the port 80. I can open the SSH tunnel for the IP address 207 by updating the putty. Let me change the settings get into the SSH channel and I have added the tracing 207 and the port 80. So the local port 80 will get forwarded to this particular IP address within this particular machine to the port 80. Let me go ahead and open the port 80. This is how the Eager UI looks like and it's going to list all the services that are sending out the tracing information and let me go ahead and access the sample application so that the tracing will also get recorded within this Eager. While doing the installation, by default, the tracing is enabled by executing this particular option, set values.tracing.enabled equal to true when I'm using the demo environment. By default, all the applications running within this particular demo environment will be sending out the tracing to the Eager. Now let me go ahead and send out a sample request so that I can check whether those requests are getting recorded as a part of Eager and what sort of valuable information it is going to provide. I can access the web page or I can access the page using the command prompt of CURL as well. Let me go ahead and access the application using the CURL. This is one way of accessing without creating the gateway. I am going to execute this particular container that is rating container and access the product page. So what I am going to do, I am going to use the namespace with Istio and get the name of the rating pod. And using this particular rating pod, within that I am going to access the page product page colon 9080 slash product page. And that's going to get me the title, what title it's getting as a response. If I get the response back, that means I'm able to access the page and I did made one access into that specific page. Let me select the page, product page with Istio, find the traces, so I should have one trace over here. Now let me go ahead and access this particular page using the web UI as well. Let me go ahead and open the tunnel for this particular IP address 4990.80 with Istio namespace. Let me get into the tunnel 9080. This particular IP address 9080 it should get forwarded. Let me apply the change. Now let me access the port 9080. I'm able to access the page. I can use the test user and make another request and see the detailed project page. Now let me access the Eager UI, find the traces. So I do have a trace over here that's going to have the details on what are all the span happened within that particular trees. Don't worry about the terminology that I'm using over here. I will be having a detailed discussion about this particular tool, Yeager UI, when we are discussing about the observability. 
This is just a quick overview on what is this particular tool and how to set up this tool and access the web UI so that we can get the benefit out of it whenever we are seeing the features available within Istio. Let me get into this particular trace. It's going to give the entire perspective on what are all the requests happened from that specific microservice and uh, what are all the other microservices and how much time it took. Say for example, it accessed the product page and product page accessed the detailed page and it took this much amount of time that is 1.47 milliseconds and uh, product page was accessing the review page that took 55.68 milliseconds within the reviews page it was accessing the reviews and the rating this is the duration it took finally that particular request to get over it took around 72.54 milliseconds and totally it involved four requests i can see the dependency on how those requests are involved using this DAG graph. So basically through the ingress gateway the product page was accessed and product page was accessing the reviews page and reviews was accessing the ratings and the ratings internally it was using the product page and product page again it was accessing the details page. So Eager it's going to provide the web UI and I will be in a position to see how the request is happening within that particular page and internally what are all the services involved to produce the result and how they are dependent of each other. Along with that it's going to provide another valuable information like each request how much time it took and where the bottleneck is. So this is one of the important analysis we will be in a position to do say within that specific request which request was taking longer time and which request was giving the error and which request is not able to respond or what error it is providing and all the dependency we will be in a position to analyze. Along with the Kiali, I will be in a position to analyze the specific application or request using Jaeger UI. Jaeger plays a significant role along with Kiali Web UI. And many times I may want to access the application using CURL command so that I can make multiple requests using a for loop and get more information. For that I need to use Istio gateway and virtual services. Let me go ahead and create a gateway. For that I am going to use the sample YAML file available in this specific location. Don't worry about the virtual service or the gateway. We will be having a detailed discussion while discussing about the features available within Istio. Basically it's going to provide a single point of entry for Istio and it's going to create a gateway called a book info gateway that's going to run in the port 80 and it's going to create a virtual service so any request coming through this particular gateway and having this particular URI it will get matched and it's going to access the product page with this particular suffix in the port 9080. Already the product page host is running in the port 9080 so I will be having a single point of entry using this specific gateway. Again let me reiterate don't worry about the gateway details this is just to quickly understand what it is and do the setup of accessing it through the URL. Let me go ahead and execute this particular YAML file within the with Istio namespace. Already it's executed so it will not get changed. I do not have any change over here. Let me go ahead and list the gateway available. So this is the gateway that got created book info gateway. Now using this specific gateway I can get the port where this particular gateway is operating. This particular port will be accessible outside the cluster as well. Once the gateway is created I can get the port at which this particular gateway is responding using this particular command kubectl within the namespace istio system get the service istio ingress gateway and from the json output path i am going to get the http2 port and that will get stored within this particular variable ingress port the same way i will be exporting the secure ingress port and tcp ingress port let me go ahead and store that within that specific variable so once if i get to know the port i can get the host as well. Host is nothing but the IP address at which this particular machine is running. Since we are running the minikube directly within the machine without using any driver, I can go ahead and assign the IP address to the ingress host. 
the minikube ip address what i am going to assign it into let me echo this particular variable so the gateway is responding in this particular port and host it's responding in this particular ip address this is the internal ip address of the machine so this is the machine where i am running the minikube this is the internal ip address ending with 140 i will be in a position to access the application using the public ip address and the port where the gateway is getting exposed let me go ahead and access this particular dns and the port the port was 30453 slash product page will take me to the product page so this is another way of accessing the application to do this i need to deploy the gateway if i don't have the gateway i can directly access the application by creating the tunnel and exposing that particular port to the tunnel so this is another way of accessing the biggest advantage of doing this is i should be in a position to get that particular ip address port and the uri access it using the c url let me go ahead and generate the url this is the gateway url let me go ahead and uh, echo the gateway url if i access it through this particular url slash product page i should be in a position to get the product page let me use the c url and uh, access the gateway url slash product page i'm going to get only the title yes now i do have the url and access the particular application and i can loop it through the for loop so what i'm going to do i'm going to access it using the for loop and loop it four times access the c url send the output to the null so that i do not want any output to get printed in the screen and access this particular url so the url was accessed four times now i should be in a position to see the Jaeger ui let me get into the ui Search the product page with Istio, find the traces. So I do have multiple traces. A few seconds ago, multiple traces happened. I can get into any trace and see the details. Another biggest advantage of Vega UI is I can select multiple trace and compare them. What's the difference between these two? It's going to provide valuable information on analyzing a specific request which is getting failed and identify the reason for it why it is failing and what's the difference between the request which is getting through and the request which is failing. So in a quick summary, we learned about how to expose the Ager UI and an overview of the Ager UI as well as how to create and deploy the gateway URL to access the sample application and use it with the CURL command to generate multiple requests. At the same time, we saw how to visualize those requests using the Ager UI as well.